Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Um, I just was reading this morning in my Bible readings uh, the first chapter of Ephesians, uh, which is such a rich passage of Scripture. You know, it's like a, a gold mine. And in verses 18 and 19 there, he prays for the believers that they might know three things. Uh, first, that we might know the hope to which he has called us. Secondly, that we might know the riches of his inglorious inheritance in the saints. And thirdly, that we might know the uh, immeasurable, the incomparable greatness of his power toward us who believe. And that's the bit that kind of really jumped out of me. You know, he's not praying there that we might have the power of God. No, uh, we have the power. He's praying that we might know it. You see, that's what he's praying for. He's concerned here that believers do not know the power of God in their lives. The immeasurable, the incomparable greatness of his power towards us who believe. And Paul knows that he can't change that, right? Only God can do that. And that's why he is praying here. And it's why I want to really pray for all of us here uh, listening to this today, that we might know this as well. Now, uh, when Paul prays, that they might know this power, uh, he means know in the sense of experiencing it. So for example, um, you may know that electricity uh, uh, powers your appliances at home, but that's not the same as you having a cardiac arrest and those paramedics put those paddles on your chest and boom, you know, shocks you back to life. That's something you know. Right? That's something that you experience. And that's what Paul is praying for uh, here in uh, this passage of Scripture, that we might experience the immeasurable, the incomparable greatness of his power towards us. You see? And in verse 20, he then uh, here goes on to uh, describe what that power is like. And he says it's like uh, the power, it's the pa same power that uh, was exerted when Jesus was raised from the dead, right? That incredible power that defeated death, right? That rendered death powerless. That same power, he says, that's what's at work in us, right? That power has made us spiritually alive and will one day raise us from the dead to give us new uh, imperishable bodies like his glorified body. Uh, it's a power greater than any known to man, uh, whether uh, solar power, atomic power, nuclear power. No, this is resurrection power. And it's at work in us, uh, right, in all who believe. And then Paul says here, it goes on to say that same power is what exalted the Lord Jesus to be seated at the right hand of the Father. He says, far above uh, all rule and authority and power and dominion, where his name is above every other name, where all things have been placed under his feet and where he is the head over all things, which means he has the last word over everything. And that inc incomparably great power that he exercises in the, in the heavenly realm, Paul says he does so for the church. It's for us. It's for our benefit, right? We benefit from his great power. Because in fact, as Paul goes on to say in uh, chapter 2, uh, verse 6, that we have been seated with him, with Christ, in the heavenly realms, right? Spiritually speaking, we are already with him in this position of authority where all of his enemies are under his feet. And so it means that they are under ours as well. Listen, are you feeling defeated today? Are you perhaps struggling with uh, sinful habits or maybe with an addiction or perhaps with fear or anxiety? Do you feel like you're failing, uh, we're getting kind of weary in the battle, overwhelmed? Are things getting you down in life? Listen, I pray right now 
that you might experience that immeasurable greatness of God's power towards you, right? You feel like you cannot win. The truth is you cannot lose because your future is certain, right? The outcome is assured. All of God's love and power is working right now for your good and for mine, right? So don't let the world get you down. Jesus has overcome the world, right? You are more than a conqueror through him who loves you. You can do all things through Christ who will give you the strength, right? He is for you. His spirit is in you to empower you right now, right? Right now, he is going to empower you. Therefore, you are an overcomer. Greater is he that is in you than he is in the world, right? Do you believe that? Right? Say it right now. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Right? Whatever situation you find yourself in right now, Jesus will have the last word. Right? All power, all authority has been given to him. And so I pray that you will be strengthened today, right now, by his incredible, incomparable, immeasurable power. Right? May you feel the force of it as you walk through today, right? Everyone stand back, bang, right? You got it? Receive his power, know his power. It's working for you and for me. God bless you today.